Hello everybody. Welcome to Word Shard. Today we are going to do the important questions from the second part of the chapter Old Man at the Bridge written by Ernest Hemingway. Uh, we will again see the picture of Hemingway. He is the important person over here because he has written the story, isn't it? So uh, this is the picture of Hemingway. Next we will move on to the questions. We will also see the answers to those important questions and the marks allotted to them. First reference, let's read the reference first. What politics have you? I asked. I am without politics, he said. I am 76 years old. I have come 12 kilometers now and I think now I can go no further. This is not a good place to stop, I said. If you can make it, there are trucks up the road where it forks for Tortosa. He looked at me very blankly and tiredly, then said, having to share some worry with someone, the cat will be all right, I am sure. There is no need to be unquiet about the cat. But the others, now what do you think about the others? Okay, now question number one. What does the old man mean when he says, I am without politics? He says that I am without politics. Why does he say this? And what does he mean from this line? Marks allotted two. You have to write that the time is Spanish Civil War. You can even mention the year if you remember. If you do not remember, the, if you think you will not be able to remember the year, you can just mention the time of Spanish Civil War. The old man of San Carlos was forced to leave his hometown as well as his dear animals because of the artillery attack. You have to mention this. Next, he finds it strange that even when he wasn't involved actively or passively in the political issues, he was forced to do so. He was forced to leave everything, his home, his village, his, his town, his animals, his dear animals. Okay, he had to leave them at risk. They are going to die. The old man knew this. Still, he had to leave them. Why? He does not understand why. Because he was not involved in politics. He was not involved in the Spanish loyalists, with the Spanish loyalists or he was not supporting the fascists. Still, he was just to be sacrificed in war. These are the helpless victims of war. So he could not understand even when he was not supporting any political party. Yet he had to leave his animals, his dear animals and his happy life. He was 76 years old and he had no place to go and had to surrender to his fate. 76 year old man, he has nobody else to go to. He had nowhere else to be other than in his town with his animals. But still he was pushed away from that place. Why? Because of some war. Okay. Next question number two. The narrator said that it was not good, not a good place to stop. Which place is this? This is very easy. Question, uh, the amount of marks allotted here is one only. The place was a dusty road near the pontoon bridge across the Ebro River. I have told you that if this is the river, if this is the river, then this is the Ebro River. Okay, this is the Ebro River we are talking about. And the pontoon bridge is on top of it. Okay, so this is the pontoon bridge. The old man was sitting at this spot. The old man had to cross the bridge and go to the other side. Isn't it? But he, he was so old that he could not move this way. He could not cross the Ebro River. So where is the old man? The old man is near the Ebro River. He was sitting near the pontoon bridge over the Ebro River. Okay. Now the narrator, what is the next question? Why is it, why, why is it? Here it will be it. Not suitable to linger here. Why he should not wait here? Why does the narrator tell him to go away from here? Not to wait here. Because the enemy was advancing and soon the mysterious event called contact would take place. What is the contact? Contact is the artillery attack that is going to take place. So it was a risky spot. The artillery attack would devastate the old man. Naturally, when there is an artillery attack, this old man will surely die if he sits over here. So it is dangerous to linger over here or sit here. We'll move to the next question. Question number three. What did the narrator advise him to do instead of halting there? The, the narrator gives him some advice, advises him. What is the advice? Marks allotted over here is two. The narrator tells the old man to reach the other side of the bridge. What are the important points over here? Reach the other side of the bridge. So he told him to reach the other side of the bridge and flee as fast as possible. Flee means to run away from that place as fast as possible. He urges the old man to get up and cross the bridge from where after he crosses the bridge, he could get some trucks that would take him to Tortosa. So if I show you over here, if this is the bridge 
and the old man is sitting over here if this is the sorry this is the bridge and this is the river and the old man has to cross this bridge from here isn't it if he could cross it if he could cross the bridge then if he could come here then he would get trucks over here that would take him to tortosa or barcelona okay tortosa or barcelona but he was so tired that he could not walk this much distance he could not cross the bridge okay because if he could cross only then he would get the trucks that would take him to tortosa but he was so tired that he could not walk okay next we'll move to the uh, second reference what is the reference why they will probably come through all right you think so why not i said watching the far bank where now there were no carts but what will they do under the artillery when i was told to leave because of the artillery did you leave the dove cage unlocked i asked yes then they will fly yes certainly they will fly but the others it is better not to think about the others he said this is a very important line as i told you in my class question number 1 what is the cause of the old man's worry and guilt why is the old man worrying and why is he feeling guilty marks 3 so you have to write a lot see the answer the old man has a high sense of duty important point has a high sense of duty duty towards whom duty towards his pet animals he had to leave them and come as the captain had forced him to leave the place he feels guilty as those animals would not survive the artillery attack they were in grave danger you when you keep a pet in your house for example if we have a dog in our house or a cat or any pet we should take care of it you are responsible for that pet and if there is any danger if there is an earthquake if there is anything else if there is a fire in your house then you need to save that pet also as you are going to save your father mother brother and sister you are also going to save that pet you are responsible to take care of that pet so he had a sense of responsibility the old man had a sense of responsibility but he had to leave his animals and come so the animals were already in a grave danger because of the artillery attack if the men could not survive the artillery attack if they were removed from the places for the artillery attack obviously the animals could also die in the in that firing so he feels he could not carry could not carry out his responsibility he feels that he is irresponsible he left his animals in danger and had forsaken them and had left them in times of trouble so he keeps on thinking and worrying about their safety so he constantly thinks about their safety he is not worried about not much worried about crossing the bridge and going to a safer place he is worried about those animals who are going to die for no reason okay next we'll move to question number 2 what is question number 2 how does the narrator try to reduce the narrator is trying to reduce the worries of the old man the narrator is very compassionate isn't it so how does he try to do that marks allotted over here is 2 what is the answer let's see the narrator tries to convince the old man that his animals would be fine he tries to important word is he tries to convince the old man that okay your animals would be fine he asks the old man if the dove cage was left opened he asks him is the dove cage opened left opened he assures the old man that the pigeons would surely fly if the dove cage is opened then the pigeons would surely fly he tries to kindle hope this one is another important point he tries to kindle or or put some hope in the mind of the old man the old man feels so devastated feels his animals would die he's very hopeless now the narrator tries to put in some put into some hope in the mind of the old man he says that no no your animals will surely survive but next question is what was it of any effect was so much uh, con convinced was trying to convince the old man of any effect did it help the old man no it did not help the old man because immediately after the extract after the extract that i read what do we see the old man is again pondering about his animals again talking about his animals isn't it so the old man wasn't convinced he knew his goats would be sacrificed he knew at the, the cat there is nothing uh, no need to be unquiet about the cat or disturbed about the cat no need to worry about the pigeons because they will also fly but the goats still remain isn't it the goats would not be able to escape there was no chance of survival for the goats isn't it that is why he was worried about the goats he was responsible for them okay now question number 3 what is question number 3 explain it is better not to think about the others you have to explain this line 
what is the answer the old man knew very well that his goats would not survive his love for his animals and their impending death erases him erases in him the reason for existence very important he was very say very much responsible he was very careful about his animals he loved them like his family now when he was removed from his taken away from his animals and he knew that his animals is going are going to die he could not he did not want to go to a safer place he wanted to die with his animals because he knew his animals would also die so he lost all the interest in living a life okay he himself was like the goats the helpless civilians who are devastated during war so he is quite like the goats that goats would also die because of this war and he is also going to be sacrificed is the he is quite like the he is a symbol of the helpless civilians who are sacrificed during war when a war takes place many innocent people also dies just like the goat it is on it is an innocent animal it has done no harm to anybody still it is going to die so war is futile he surrenders to his fate accepting the horrors of war hemingway portrays the fatality and the pointlessness of war important line pointless why do you need to go for a war it is it has no positive impact on us it uh, of war which is which is inhumanity to the human race it is a it is a form of inhumanity that that is carried out to the human race by human beings themselves human beings does this do this harms isn't it they harm each other so it is a symbol of shame that is why it is a symbol of shame now we'll move to the fourth question this is the last one for today the story is set on an easter sunday this is an irony okay what irony is it marks allotted over here is 3 let's read the answer that the action of the story which means when the story takes place the day is easter sunday what happened on easter sunday jesus christ rose from the dead on the third day after he was crucified he was crucified and then 3 days after that he rose from his dead this that is called resurrection okay so again jesus christ came alive so obviously when jesus christ comes uh, comes alive it is a symbol of hope renewal rebirth positivity a good person who had died comes back obviously that is a point of hope rebirth renewal but the day marks ill luck for the old man and his innocent helpless animals what happens to the animals and the old man today on that particular day when jesus christ had come alive that particular day they are going to be sacrificed for the war the impending attack of the fascists would kill many civilians who would be war victims not only the old man the old man is just a symbol the goat is just a symbol there would be many who would lose their lives on a day when jesus christ had come alive so it is a very much of an irony over here okay that's all this is all this is uh, all about the important questions that might come i think uh, if you study these questions uh, that would be enough just questions can come in a different form you have to place the answers in a different form but all the important questions are discussed over here so no need to worry children um, thank you i hope you have liked my video if you have liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much